is I'm going to show you how to prep the lashes and do a lash bath before we put on any lash extensions, tint, anything. We just want to make sure those lashes are squeaky clean just so the products adhere better to them, the products absorb better into them for tinting and anything like that. So I'm going to get right to it. I've got Kenzie here. She's my model. There she is. That construction is loud. No. Okay. I'm going to come over here. I have some hand sanitizer. It's going to clean my hands really quick. I want to make sure everything is nice and clean. Okay. So I already did a right eye today and I cleaned that one. I did that one for another video on Instagram. So I'm going to show you on this side how I do the lash bath. Excuse my voice, guys. Okay. So what I start out with is you get some cotton rounds or two by two cottons. Over tip or head just a teeny bit. I hold this right here for any excess. And then I let them know that this is going to be put on their lashes so they don't panic or anything because their eyes of course are shut all right here's a pump of foam and I'm pretty liberal with it that looks like a lot but it really gets in there and I use the cute little brush I love, love these brushes they get all the dirt and oil and debris and dead skin cells out of there you also can use this at home or in the mornings if you want. I use it twice a day. I like to wash my lashes once in the morning with this brush and then once in the evening to get all my makeup and everything off. And then I'll just sweep it just gently. You don't have to be really aggressive with it. But if any lashes fall off like that one, that's okay. Then you're gonna wanna clean the top lid as well. and under. Make sure that you do not get it in your client's eye. You shove the brushes in the eye. But a lot of clients actually really like this. It kind of itches their eyes. That feels good. <laughs> okay. And then I am going to grab my little kidney dish right here. I kind of hold it like that and keep that on there just because it will help absorb if there's not a tight seal right there. You don't want the water going down into their ear. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I add, just this is just warm water, because I don't like using cold water on anyone. Okay, a little bit warm water coming. Make sure that you do not get the tip in their eye. You want to make sure it's sanitary and clean. And then I go back. I just dry it off, wipe everything off. Okay, just like that. And that will get them super clean so you won't have any problems adding eyelash extensions or anything like that on there. The cleaner the better, of course, because it will adhere. That is how I do a lash bath. I've got one right there. There we go. Alright. All right. That's how we do it. Okay. Thanks guys. I look forward to talking to you again. I'll be on Facebook again tomorrow at 9.30. If you have any questions, make sure you can make sure you email me my my direct 